Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is a demo for uh, make it how easy it is for you to uh, make the PC um, use a large language model. And um, basically, I call it a Java using a microphone. Uh, you can ask Java any questions. Uh, basically, any question just like Chat GPT. Um, Instead of using ChatGPT, uh, you can actually use uh, Llama. Right now, I actually going to demonstrate what I mean. You can hear Java's. Excuse me, sir. Did you said something? So this is the voice TTS, and um, basically, I'm going to ask Java's to write me a poem about Einstein. Java's. Write me a poem about Einstein. Excuse me, sir. I am working on it. So this is using a large language model, and it's loading the uh, Open Ocar. But uh, we got a fine tune for that for the uh, voice to sound like Java's. So I'm actually using GPU, and uh, if you can follow my link uh, in the follow in the YouTube below, that that is only only uh, if you use GPU, and if you don't use GPU, you can actually use CPU. By default, it's just uh, using CPU, but it will be faster if you use GPU. Write me a poem about Einstein, Albert Einstein, a man of sheer intellect. His mind was agile and quick, like a bird in flight. Innovations galore, they all originated from him. The world owes so much to this genius, the great Albert Einstein. Gravity, relativity, what did these words mean? Albert Einstein, with his brilliance clear, made our understanding complete and clean. He unraveled cosmic mysteries, shedding light on unknown aspects. The universe's secrets he revealed to astonished hearts and minds, in awe of the great Albert Einstein. His hair wild and wavy, his heart filled with passion and pride. Albert Einstein, your genius was so immense, we all felt your brilliance radiate wide. The world lost a titan when he passed, leaving behind an impact immense. We remember this great mind each day. The legendary Albert Einstein let his legacy stand tall and strong forever remembered as Einstein may his genius continue to inspire minds young and old from every part of our world to dream big and reach for the stars in homage to the extraordinary Albert Einstein and when we gaze up at the night sky looking into deep spaces abyss we are reminded of his discoveries forever a part of the cosmic tapestry of our universe's masterpiece that is the great Albert Einstein well I can't do it better than that yeah this is pretty amazing AI doing poem and all that let's ask then something else like hey Javas tell me the meaning of life excuse me sir I am working on it So it's using uh, let me see, forty three layers, uh, I uh, GPU forty three layers out of forty three. I have thirty two G on my machine. Yeah, so blast is equal one. You can see, I'm working on the AMD. Uh, but but I have a custom hardware. But you guys do, don't have to use custom hardware. You can use. Uh, you tell me the meaning of life. The meaning of life is subjective and can vary depending on an individual's beliefs, experiences, and perspective. Generally speaking, life holds significance in providing opportunities for growth, self-discovery, relationships, mm. personal achievements, and contributing to a collective human experience. It enables individuals to learn, evolve, and make meaningful connections with others while they navigate their unique paths through the world. Remember that this is just one interpretation. There are many ways to define the meaning of life. Ultimately, it's up to each person to find their own understanding based on their values, beliefs, and experiences. 
So, if you want to know what the meaning of life is for yourself, start by reflecting on your own personal goals, values, and aspirations. Think about what truly brings you joy and fulfillment in your daily interactions with others or within yourself. And remember that life is an ever-evolving journey. There's no single right answer. Well said, well said, Travis. Well, um, let me just go to do a very simple instruction how you're going to build your own Javas and, uh, you know, it's basically a speech engine recognition uh, using Python, the speech recognition engine and uh, running uh, code and uh, going through a model loading, a Llama model loading, and then after that you do a TTS and then you can loop around and loop around and ask Java simple questions like that. <laughs> What's the meaning of life, and any other stuff, you know? Uh, but uh, you, you can actually uh, f feel free. Uh, I have a link below in the YouTube channel below. Uh, I will leave you guys my GitHub uh, repo. Uh, let Let's just go and uh, do a very simple instruction. You go, if you go visit my uh, my website, my uh, GitHub, you can s uh, go to Java's Llama. And underneath that, there is a simple instruction, right? So you say, I, I named this a Java's Llama. Uh, install, you can just follow through. You can actually do the first instruction is to, let's uh, do it. Let's do the P PIMP speech recognition. I need this pack package. All you need is this package. The rest is, basically I believe that you don't want to run Python wrapper for this because uh, it's much faster if you run C program. So I I I I I um prefer you guys running C program. Uh, just compile it and uh, it will be faster. So let's 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 just go through the exercise. Let's just go to the uh, home and uh, do the pin. I already have the package, so you can see I already finished installing and uh, go to. Uh, I will clone a clean one just to demonstrate. Okay, so I. Uh, let me just go to because uh, I just did something. Let me just remove it. Yeah, let's just clone this. Yeah. So once you finish cloning, you can go to your home. We call it Java, Java's Llama directory. You go into Java's Llama directory and uh, follow through the uh, instruction here. Yeah. Then uh, go in to download the model. Right. You click this. This is the hugging face. Java's uh, Llama 2 model. Or you can click this and go to my Hugging Face uh, CK Lamp Hugging Face Llama J Java Llama, and there's a GGUF file, which is a universal omics file, and uh, 7G. Just click this uh, download, and you can check it's downloading. I already downloaded uh, previously, but let me just go through this exercise again. So you can see it's downloading. This is the model I'm using, but you can use other model like uh, you know Llama 27B if you have enough memory. But this is the uh, quantization. I read it that uh, the bloke guy, uh, 4B quantize uh, model. You should be able to run on your CPU. Yeah. So uh, let me just go, while well, well, this uh, downloading, let me just explain a little bit well, the structure. The structure is very simple. It's just this Python code called javas.py, right? In the py, it just uh, import the speech recognition, uh, sr, and then uh, I need the os for uh, you know sub process to go out and run some shell script. So uh, you can see I have a procedure to run talk.sh. Talk.sh is just a TTS. Actually using Piper, uh, TTS is speech synthesis engine, right? So there is a very good speech synthesis engine called Piper. So it's all embedded in this. Uh, once you have a GitHub and you have a repo cloned, you should be able to, I, sh I will take care of it. I already take care of everything. So all you need to do is just go to, just follow through my instruction here. And uh, let, let me just complete the uh, download instruction almost done yeah let me just if you go back to my uh, repo here it say I say move yeah I just follow this move make sure you download completely okay and then you move 
your model file here you see yeah here okay now after that you go and do your compile so what I want you to, guys to do is to compile the um, the loader model, the uh, Llama 2 model, the Llama CPP, which is a very fast, lightweight uh, Llama 2 model loader. Right. So you just go to make, in this case just make, and then you wait for it to uh, complete. As shown here, make. To compile you make. Right. So this is to compile the Llama CPP. I'm actually totally using CP, CPU right now, so just to demonstrate compatibility, right? Everybody can be able to run it. A bit slower, but still be able to run it. And if you have GPU, for example, you can do, you can go to my repo and look at the GPU instruction. This is an AMD GPU, which I prefer you guys using GPU from AMD because it's much greener for an, uh, for environment. Instead of using the overheating NVIDIA, you guys should use the AMD. So, uh, yeah, when you are using the AMD, you have to point the compiler to CLang and CLang++, depend on the location where you store. I'm doing the ROCM, the ROCM which is stored in the uh, slash opt slash rocm directory and um, if you use this blast you should be able to make use of the GPU yeah go back to the uh, python code java.python okay now it's completed you can actually check it out the program that I'm running for loading the model is main so this is used by this shell script. It's called by this shell script main, and then it's loading the Java's uh, Llama model. It's quantized model, and I'm actually using uh, N400, and the output of the Java's is actually going to a text file called out.txt. So so you can 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 check it out. So once you finish this step, you go to make sure you go to Piper and then you make. Uh, the purpose is to generate the compile, uh, the executable for the TTS, which is the speech engine of our uh, Java. So now it's doing the speech engine compilation and the final output will be a s executable by the name Piper, P I P E R. Seventy three percent. Almost done. This is pretty fast. It's a very lightweight speech synthesis. It's much better than the one that from NVIDIA, you know, you use a GPU and all that stuff. It's just a lightweight uh, version here. But actually using DNN, you use a deep neural network in this case not the one that is being you know uh, published several other websites and uh, youtube videos tell you to use e-speech e-speak and all that is not that great the speech is very bad this is actually using a deep learning model yeah i believe the author it came from russia yeah piper pretty amazing it sounds good there's other uh, languages you can actually use if you go deeper into the Piper uh, github you should be able to find out more about it but this is just one of the application for for, for this Java's uh, app that I'm building I'm using one of the voice closest to Java's uh, which is Alan the name of the guy that, that is uh, the speech engine uh, Uses so so there is a Pyatri after you compile you should be able to see a executable in the uh, in the in store right you don't have to care too much about it all you need to do after this is done is to follow the instruction here you can see after you are done with compile uh, we go back to your directory and run this you should be able to run. 
oh b before that you have to make sure that all your model is loaded here just check that model javas dot gguf right and then you can actually run a test here yeah javas tell me the meaning of life excuse me sir i am working on it so this working now on your questions and then similarly you should be able to hear the answer later on let me check the CPU loading you can see it's loading about 7G and uh, running a lot of processing here at least six core it's actually using six core yeah the meaning of life is not easy to to uh, you know even I have a hard time thinking about it you know. yeah let me see yeah here you go not bad me, the meaning of life the meaning of life is what you make it to be as every individual perceives and lives their own life in different ways some people believe that the purpose of life is to pursue happiness achieve personal growth or contribute to something greater than oneself others may think that life's meaning lies in experiencing love and connection with others serving a higher power or simply enjoying each moment as it comes ultimately it's up to you to determine what gives your life meaning and purpose Remember, there is no one-size-fits-all answer to this question, as we all have our unique perspectives and values that shape how we understand and approach life. So, think about what truly matters to you, and let that guide you in finding the meaning of your own life. Well, that's the uh, end of the video. So I, I hope you guys can understand what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get a uh, simplified uh, speech engine, speech recognition engine, uh, you know, uh, running a Llama model and uh, giving you feedback uh, against throughout the output to using a TTS, very similar to Java's voice. And uh, yeah, it's simple, yeah, very simple. I uh, hope you guys like the video. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any comments, uh, please feel free to uh, you know make some comments about it. Yeah, I I will try to make some more videos about you know about you know what you guys want to look at, and uh, in the future might be able to uh, tell Java to do some other <laughs> imp uh, impressive uh, you know artificial intelligence stuff like AGI closer to AGI. You know, totally unbelievable right now that uh, Java is able to write poem about Einstein. Yeah. Hey, thank you.